Welcome to part two of implementing Google Maps in your Ionic application. So in this uh, follow on video to part one, we are going to implement turn by turn navigation. As you can see here, we have um, the ability to navigate to the points that we have in our custom markers. If you haven't seen part one, please click on the link in your screen so that you can check out part one and then you can catch up back with this video after you are done. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to uh, go to the add info window to marker method and we want to make an addition here so um, just after our uh, marker longitude and latitude here we want to add some markup okay so this will add a navigate button to our info window. Um, we're using the ion button that comes with Ionic. So let's save this and check it out. Okay, so when we click on our info window, you can now see we have this navigate button. But of course, um, when you click on navigate, nothing happens so far. So let's add that functionality. Okay, so still inside the add info window to marker method, and inside the marker click event listener, what we want to do is to add some additional code. Okay, so what's happening here is we are using these, uh, so in the Google Maps API, there's this method called add listener once. And what this enables us to do is to um, be able to add a particular event listener when the DOM is ready, right? So we need to make sure that we, uh, we don't just add an event listener as we did up here we need to wrap it in this method first in order for it to work. So we wrap it using the uh, Google Maps API add listener once uh, method. And then we use the document.getElementById method to grab onto this ion button. So that's why we gave it this ID of navigate. So we grab it uh, using the get element by id and then we add this event listener right so it's a click event listener and when it is clicked we're gonna launch this method right here so we are simply gonna log to the console that indeed we've clicked the button and that this is working and we're gonna use um this method here it opens a browser and then this browser will launch uh, Google Maps and then uh, assigning uh, a destination, which is going to be uh, the marker latitude and the marker longitude. So this code right here, what it does is it hands off the navigation from your Ionic application onto the Google Maps application, right? If they have uh, Google Maps, the actual app installed on their device, then it's going to hand over to the Google Maps app. If they don't have Google Maps, then it's going to open Google Maps inside the browser. So for example, on an iPhone without Google Maps, it's going to open Google Maps in Safari browser. If you'd like to know how to um, integrate uh, in-app navigation, so navigation from within your application, I'm going to make a tutorial about it in future. So make sure that you are subscribed and you hit the bell icon to ensure that you're going to see that tutorial when I publish it. 
um, if you're seeing this um, some time, some significant amount of time after April 2020, then probably the tutorial is already out. So just check out um, my channel and you'll be able to find that tutorial. Okay, so that's great. Let me save this and we're going to test this in the browser and also test this in the emulator. So I'm going to press Control S to save and check it out in the browser. Okay, we are back in our Ionic app. If I click here, we see we have the navigate button and upon clicking the navigate button, it's going to open Google Maps. If we come back here, you'll see navigate button has been clicked, the console log that we were expecting. And you can see here we are given the directions. So it's showing up like that because we are on our desktop browser. Let's open our uh, Android emulator. And what it should do is it should actually hand over the navigation task to the Google Maps application. So let's check that out. Okay, so we are in our terminal. So we want to cancel this uh, process that is running Ionic in our browser. Let's clear the screen and let's launch our application. So for this, I'm going to use Cordova using the command Ionic Cordova run Android. Okay, so I'm going to continue. Um, let me not use capacitor for this. I just want to run it quickly. And I think Cordova is a little bit faster. Okay, so we have our application launched in the Android emulator. And if I click on an info window, so as you can see, it works just as well as it did in the browser. And when I click navigate, it hands over to Google Maps. So let me just skip all of that. Okay, so let's navigate from this location to the National Art Gallery. Okay, there we go. And you see we have the turn by turn navigations from Google Maps. So we can actually um, start to navigate and Google Maps will tell us exactly how to get to the intended location. So all of the code for this tutorial is available on the codeswag.co.uk website. You can click on the link in the description below and you'll be able to access the entire um, code uh, that we used for this project. When you do download the code for the project, make sure that you run npm install so that you install all the dependencies and also, please make sure that you create your own Google project with your own API key and then use your API key in order to get the Google map working and rendering correctly. Um, if you uh, don't use the API key or if you try to use mine, it's not going to work because I'm going to make sure that um, I delete my API key from this. But in any case, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.